In Greek, Curios, Lord, has a Greek sum total letter value of 800. Asus, Jesus, has a sum total Greek letter value of 888. 888 plus 800 equals 1688. The golden ratio, the golden mean. At position 1688 in the golden ratio, the golden mean is the number 781. This generation in Greek has a sum total Greek letter value of 781. By 1.618. The square root of 2. 1.414. The square root of 3. 1.732 square root of 5, 2.236, sum total of these constants, 7, perfect 7, 7.000, 7 6 fifths, 1.20, multiplied by phi squared. Phi is the golden ratio, the golden mean, 1.618 is approximate pi. In microphysics, alpha, the fine structure constant, is the reciprocal of the number 137. This is the Higgs boson formula, the God particle. The hypothesis of this formula has been proven using the reciprocal of the number 137 to the power, all relating to one, God, the God particle. When adding the numbers after the decimal, 0.0072, Nine nine twenty seven oh one. The sum total is star and triangle number thirty seven. Thirty seven times seventy three equals twenty seven oh one. Twenty seven oh one is the seventy third triangle number. 2701 equals the Hebrew gematria sum total letter value of Genesis 1 verse 1. And the E, natural logarithm, the E constant, 2.71828, sum total 28. This is a constant used to uh, create uh, things such as Wi-Fi for us to enjoy using math, the E constant, natural logarithm, as well as pi, being used in everyday life to make things work in producing algorithms. In Greek, John 1 verse 1 In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God 
has a Greek sum total letter value of 3627. Encoded into the 52 Greek letters and 17 Greek words of John 1 verse 1, the E natural constant, the natural log value that uh, I use uh, as a real estate appraiser uh, to calculate mortgage interest or any type of interest you can calculate using the uh, natural logarithm as well as creating log values for very big numbers uh, as shown in this video we will show that the uh, the natural log uh, of the earth moon and sun can be used uh, a natural log value the e constant natural log logarithm in all my videos I call myself Rob E this is why it's the small e because it's the e natural logarithm that I'm showing In John 1 verse 1, the Logos is mentioned three times, having a Greek sum total letter value of 373. The Greek word Logos, a divine reason, at position 373 in the E constant, natural logarithm, is the number 4. At position 374 is the number 4, and at the last position is 3, 443. Four, three. That's the sum total of the Logos, the reason, the divine order, the word, sum total Greek letter value of 443, cracking the E natural logarithm with the word encoded in the Hebrew letters the 28 Hebrew letters and seven Hebrew words of Genesis 1 verse 1 is pi 28 times the value of each letter divided by seven times the value of each of the seven words equals pi. Cracking pi to discover the creator of it all Jesus Christ the Alpha Omega having a Greek sum total of 801 having a digital root value of 9 at position 801 in Pi is the number 5 spelling out Alpha and Omega in Greek we find that the words have a sum total Greek letter value of 1332 at position 1332 and pi is the number six. The sum of the first 56 composite numbers is 2368. The Greek letter value sum total of the holy name Jesus Christ. In Hebrew, Moshiach, which means the Savior, the Anointed One, has a Hebrew gematria sum total letter value of 358. 358 is the 286th composite number. The first 286 composite numbers sum to 53,020 at a digit 53,020 in pi we find the number 888 which equals Jesus Jesus in Greek
using the Hebrew names for the earth, Eretz, having a Hebrew gematria of some total of 291, Yareth, the moon, having a value of 218, Samesh, the sun in Hebrew, having a value of 640. Moon in Hebrew, Yarech, has a Hebrew letter value sum total of 218. X axis, right here. Earth, Eretz in Hebrew, has a Hebrew sum total of 291. Right here. And the sun, Samesh has a Hebrew letter value of 640, 640. So that the Hebrew gematria letter value is represented on the X axis here. And I use the E natural logarithm to create log values for the uh, moon, earth, and sun and we're going to use the the diameter in this case but you will find that these amazing facts happen in a variety of measurements of the earth moon and sun but we're going to use the diameter in miles of the earth moon and sun and the log value because the numbers are big we're going to use the log value on the y-axis here the moon has a log value of 768 right here it goes exactly correlates exactly with the Hebrew name Yarek the earth has a log value of 898 right here we see it exactly correlating with the name Eretz in Hebrew at 291 Samesh, Sun, 640, exactly with the log value 1367, the log value of 1367 for the diameter of the Sun in miles, creating a linear relationship of the Earth, Moon, and Sun on the XY axis. And here's the uh, algebraic formula that I derived using uh, multiple regression analysis to predict these positions as well. This is a divine XY graph that goes even further. This is just scratching the surface of a divine creator letting us observe the celestial bodies by their names in Hebrew.